know it. And we know it like the back of our hands. You can see the way odds. They feel like they know the game as well. They put this one in favor of Team Vitality. For the love and of the I game, think Harry. After, the, uh, after their performance in that first map, the map pick of Ents, I think that's with good reason. Dust mm -hmm. 2 is a real proving ground for the Vitality boys. Leon Alu opening up with a double out here at long, and he does have support from two more players. This leaves Masuta trapped at nice. the blue bin, and Alu cements his third kill as a result. Apex and RPK left trickling in behind in a two on five. They're going to try and change the avenue of approach. They look to get out over here towards what? this B site. Still a man here, still Yampi lying in wait. And he's got a date with Destiny. Yeah, good reaction from Yampi. He pushed lower, but he realized that Vitality was going for a mid to B, so he had to double back. He gave them the plant, but he won't give them the round. Ents coming in for the retake, and things are swift and simple for this CT side. And that's exactly where I wanted Ents to start as well, right? We talked about that double AWP factor back on Mirage. Ents, they only play like five rounds in that second half, so we didn't really get to see uh, the double AWP more than once or twice, so... Now, at least early in the CT side, we've got a bare minimum of those 15 rounds getting played. Plenty of chances for Yampi and Alu to really run the board here. Oh, but Vitality, they did this exact same thing versus NIP yesterday. The second round, four spy uh, with three rifles. Alu's got the AWP, man, early on. Four kills and a pistol has poised him for this AWP in the second round of the game. You don't always see that come through, and obviously the risk is the lack of head armor, but the reward, well... I shouldn't have to tell you that. It's pretty clear. Vitality playing a slow round here around the rifles, waiting for RPK and Zaiwu to find some success. Obviously, Misuta and Apex, who dropped these AK-47s over, are left to just eagles with no armor either. So they can either be sent in first as, you know, essentially bait, so Vitality can trade, or they can try and stay alive and let the rifles do their bidding so that these deagles can come alive in the post plant. We'll see where Vitality want to take these T's. Up towards the catwalk right now, a re-smoke has come down from Sunny. He's got a grenade poised and an SMG. He'll likely just take a shot and drop off towards CT. Let Alu do the main work up from the car side of things. Vitality, they're really not rushing this A-bomb side. They are taking their sweet, sweet time to get in control, to get in position. And they may not even go at all. Looking tempted for a bit of a mid play as well. The bomb is on cat. Two in mid for Vitality. Getting info. Trying to work out where that where that rotate player is. Where that mid player is. They're going to smoke mid to B. Actually forces Sunny off. He doesn't even get a chance to fire. And he's missed all the information. It's a fake. It's an A commitment. So we're getting flashed up. This is Alu's time to shine. It certainly is. In with the first. Looking for a little bit more, but it's actually going to be RPK to put up this first kill or second kill in the round, rather. Finding that equalizer and allowing the bomb plant to come through in this force by for Vitality. Now the retake is on. Ents, four on four, and Yampi getting up through the ramp. No one is ready for a player to be this deep. And so Yampi could tear this whole Ooh, round apart. A nice yeah. dig from Apex, and Yampi still concealed in this smoke. Gets real close, real personal. And Zaiwu, he takes it personally as well and does trade for his IGL. Alu's left to run for the hills and the force uh -oh. fight for Vitality yields them the results. Alu <laughs> spotting the elbow of shocks. They're not going to take this AWP out of his hands just yet. Yeah, yet though being the key one, because look at RPK. He is ready to play and he's going to get that AWP for free. Might even be able to pick it up. It fell down into, into the suicide area. So yeah, nice little upgrade there for Zaiwu. He will not be complaining about the second round orb. And right there is the danger of the second round orb because you're giving it away to your opponents with a faster round with those pistols coming into success. I mean, it is mainly the rifles, of course, of Vitality that were forced. But now it's the force coming from Ents as their money has been drained. Alu on the scout. we got pistols elsewhere. So I was watching mid late. He deals with that scout nice and early. Yampi's close B, tempted to push with Sergei as well. This is quite a duo as well. Yampi and Sergei playing a bomb site together. I'm standing for these two. And they can't stand being left on B here. They're going to get aggressive. They cleared this out. And since you have no one on the A site, they're double mid right now. And so this is essentially a retake or a save for Enz. Shots needs to be careful, but he's got his wits about him. Turns around for one. Aerial trades. That's an AK. That's a save. Aerial will get away. The other two players can either play bodyguard or can, can try and assist and get some more kills, take some more guns away. 
They're going to group up together in the spawn. And Yampi's found the scout for the body of Alu. And things are okay for Ents, but it's still going to be Vitality taking the 2 1 lead. Ents making do with what they've got. Sergei playing a bit of footy in his off time. Right now, the balls are well and truly in Vitality's court. As they keep this AWP standing tall. I heard you like egos, Harry. We have another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're uh, they're nice, Hugo. They're always good. But, you know, we can see uh, that with the AK held forward and, you know, players holding onto the digs and armor and things like that, you know, this little, uh, this little round here isn't as much of a walk in the park as it usually is for Vitality. This isn't going to be like an easy guaranteed Ooh. third, not with shots like that. Coming in from Alu. That's a nice long little kill feed there. I've seen better. It would always be better, Alu. <laughs> but still, up, pretty man. cool nonetheless, <laughs> right? Ariel looking down into the lower tunnels from the top of this boost. Now, there's no one here for Vitality. But this round is already scary, right? Like, you've lost Zywu. You're a man down. There is still weapons on the side of Ents. And if this scout's able to get, like, a couple of tags off, right, and soften these players up, then this round can still spiral out of control for Vitality. But Shox has picked up the all parry, and I always love watching Shox on the AWP, right? So I will, of course, you know, not not discrediting him, but when he does die, when Shox is low and we see Bogdan's law come into effect, it's always a good bit of entertainment here for Vitality. So let's see what he can do with it. He's got the bomb on his back, and the T's are making their way out long. Here's the flank for Sergey. It's not being covered, not yet. Apex is playing timing in the spawn, but he's watching the B push right now. So Sergei has a window. Uh, unfortunately, he's missed that window. It's shut as Apex comes back to this position. He might get heard running towards long, and that could be info Sergei uses against him. Yeah, he definitely heard that. And now he can come in and try and backstab as he knows Vitality, a full man committed to this site. The B rotate coming off the back of that info as well. That's a really safe play by Sergei with the man advantage. And now Ariel with the AK looks to make things uh, painful for Vitality. He gets one. Shocks trades, holding the back line as well. And he's ready in time for Sergei. Great shot. Boost up can come from Yampi, but that's spam. And the Molotov and the grenade. Oh my, Vitality throw everything and the kitchen sink into CT spawn. And well, Ents, they've sunk deep in this round. It's just Alu. And he's going to get crouched peaked by uh, Shocks. Four kills on the AWP. I said I wanted to see it, Harry. And boy, does it do it justice. Shocks coming alive. It's just, what can you do? What can you do there? Look at that round that ends. That is a shambles. Very unfortunate stuff with the grenades coming into spawn and vitality. Well, now they've finally got a, at least a challenge on their hands. Ents on a buy round. It's been back-to-back -back forced ecos here for Ents. So fast play out long for Mizuta. He had the spawn. He beats the molly. And I don't know if Sonny's realized that he's stuck behind the bins. is just being so patient his patience wears thin and he will deal with Sunny over here at long now the slowdown for Vitality they wait patiently expecting Ooh. these kills to get delivered in Apex his crosshair was in the right place to the point where, like, I, I, I don't even think he realized he had that kill locked no. in, but he does just snatch it away. Sergey comes in with his attempt to keep this in the advantage of Ents, but it does leave one man and one man only in this A site. Sergey immediately shut down, or not Sergey, rather. It's actually Alu. I just can't read, Hugo. I do it by pictures, and when we're not watching the person, it's very hard for me to know. But right now, I know we're on Sergey. I recognize that beautiful face anywhere. He's going to try and hold on to this M4. But the rest of Vitality might come shutting him down. That's shocks right there. I can see that now, thanks to the pitch of Hugo. <laughs> the Suta, one by one, we could go through him. RPK, that, how could you forget that yeah. cheeky, charming, devilish smile? Were you more about novels or coloring books as a kid, Harry? Pardon? I, were you more about novels or coloring books as a kid? I could kind of guess. 
Novels are pretty cool. Like, I like the way, like, the big clump of, like, words looked, yeah. right? Like, that was kind of like interesting. Pretty picture. But, yeah, I don't think it has anything on, like, the artwork in picture books. Ooh, Sergey, That is sneaky-beaky. He let Shox pass. Shox wasn't even looking at him as well. Sergey could have just shot him in the back of the head. But playing it safe, right? Not wanting to even take the fight. Wanted to get away with a gun. And he will. It's a small victory for Ensign, and otherwise sea of regret as Vitality sit 4-1 up, and Ensign only field a single rifle in this round. Sergey, where's he gone? Blown in the B-bomb site right now, and that's probably a good spot, right? If, if Vitality hit B, you have your, your best chance of winning it. If they don't, then you can save this again for another round. And, well, Vitality... We know they have those B plays up their sleeve. That's what's so good about this T side is right now we're just seeing very slow methodical gameplay from Vitality. But at any point when they start to feel confident, when they start to feel like they have ends conditioned, they can just throw in one of these really quick mid to B plays or, or fast cat it, throw a player into CT spawn like RPK and then just drop back and take B. You know, loads of loads of ideas on this Vitality side that we've seen on Dust2. So right now things are just very standard and as they should be as they rid the round of these Ecos. I say that though, pistol kills coming through and finding something if vitality avoid this they will be able to win the round but they will be able to also give guns over sunny is going to be able to get himself an upgrade and a chance to make this round expensive a single kill would do that and now he can do more shocks is gone Taiwu planting an rpk covering from the window but he's not looking to play aggressively Sunny's coming in from the tunnels this will be the last thing vitality expect but right now they cleared out middle that's a big play for vitality huge risk huge reward now they can play in the middle area watching the tunnels Sai who is posted and Sonny he's going to need a pre-fire one tap on the left eye peak I'm not holding out for it but let's see he might force the man out into the open at least but it's the oh. whereabouts of RPK the molly actually burns Zaiwu out however RPK the cheeky man drops the molly into the site uh, it wasn't actually on nope. the bomb I thought it was <laughs> I think he just misunderstood where it was planted for but it doesn't matter there wasn't enough time for Sonny anyway he does however want to get this orb He's hoping that the bomb has blown it his way, ah. but it has not. And so no AWP saved today. Vitality up to this commanding lead. Kind of what we expected here yeah. on Dust. It felt like Mirage had to be a, uh, a lock-in for Ents if they wanted to take this series all three, at least when you consider how good Vitality have looked on this map as yeah. of late. It did feel nice with the map pool, though, at least going into this series. The fact that both teams play both maps, right? And Ents certainly can and, and will play Dust too. So, you know, they should be able to put up a fight. But right now, it's not the strong start that Ents showed us on Mirage that fell apart. It's a, a quick beginning for Vitality and a 5-1 lead that might get broken as Yampi breaks his wrist with the flick. It's going to snap back to RPK and retreat to the B-bomb site, split 2-2 two, two at end. So Vitality, they have two, two on twos. That's a lot of twos. And well, they're going to be making their way up towards the A site with them. Alu flashed off. Oh, he doesn't take the shot, but he is going to have a chance at renegotiating the angle. Taiwu so posted, and oh, Alu flash passes position. Taiwu's so going to take it. Shocks tagging Alu to slow him down midair. That molly is good, but Taiwu, so he knows now where that player is, and he's going to hunt him down to the ends of the earth. Smoke on the site. Taiwu so wants a fight, and he might just get it, but not the way he wanted. That, uh, Yampi taking him down, and Shocks dinks immediately with a bomb. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's just not happening. Sergey uh, finds the damage. Yampi gets a kill with a pistol, and that's going to be the round taken by Ents. They do do it. Despite that two-on-two -two going the way of Vitality initially, it's the rotates that are the biggest problem. Alu getting messed around with on the long side of things, trying to hold that catwalk. Good utility from uh, from Vitality there to flash back into the fight. So I was waiting for a mid pick, but you can notice that player in mid. Yampi's only watching for the top right side of mid. He might peek late. He often does this, just hold for this angle and then go uh, towards a suicide spot, but Right now, he's just being patient and waiting. We'll see if things change. Yampi now considering lower as well, so not even going to go for it. Safe decision. Don't give Ents a disadvantage early in this round. Resmoke on long will pull Alu back to watch Catwalk. Yampi's now lost control of middle, so they need to be aware of the chance of Vitality of setting up towards that A bomb site. Make drop to allow this cross up onto the catwalk. While this AWP has been firing off in mid, Alu waits patiently with his in the drop down spot. Gets that shot off but doesn't find a connection. And 
Vitality pumping the brakes, but albeit briefly, they go back towards Long, looking to split this A bomb site. And with a three man stack over towards B right now, a pretty heavy lean towards this side of the map. It falls to Ariel and Alu to try and give this A site the protection it needs. Ooh, that's a spray and a half though. The bomb's been removed and the round might follow as well. He's gonna flash up for Alu as the players come up cap. As I was here late on Long with a trade, comes at the cost of 90 health, a dink damage. Oh, what? RPK? Can he even see him? The kill feed doesn't suggest, but RPK with a one bullet to Alu. Zaiwu needs to throw this bomb across. He's 10 health. He could die to a bullet. It's 10 seconds. You need to go, Zaiwu. You've got to commit. You've got to cover your team. And now Sergei's dropped shocks trying to retrieve that package. It's just not happening. Zaiwu had to cross, and that car smoke didn't really provide all too much help, nor cover here for Vitality. Bit of a mess. Maybe not reading the clock. And Ents, they're going to pick it up. That being said, like if Zywu tries to jump across that, he probably dies as well. So there's no easy way out of that round. But yeah, I mean, what else can you do? Look at this. What? Huh? Oh, okay. It faded for RPK, as it often does for a player sitting inside the smoke. We see Rain do that for phase where he sits in that smoke and watches CT for a long rotation. Right now, Vitality have broke those. So Ed's finally getting in control of this game. Getting pressured by these Glocks, but it's not really going to crumble just yet. Does get dinked on the repeat, but both these orbs fighting their way into mid could present a bit of a problem if they do go down. However, Holly will keep Vitality out of the mid area. There's a path up through short right now, though, and they're going to be allowed this bomb plant at the very, very least. This is a full eco round from Vitality, and we're into a three on three with the bomb planted. They're now in a good spot to try and do some damage here. With Yampi tagged up earlier on, there is a shot that you could uh, you could convert this, but a lot of it is going to rely on whittling down this clock and forcing Ents into some fights that they just don't want to take. This Ooh. MP9 could do a hell of a lot. Apex finding another. Once again, quick reminder, Whoa, full eco Ariel. round for Vitality. It's what? Glock's besting Ents in this round. Oh, oh dear, the Glocks have done it. Aerial man, he fired like 110 bullets. I didn't even know the A1S had that many bullets in his mag. And he can't hit that player hiding behind the barrels on the site. Great round from uh, Shox and Co, though. That post plant above Catwalk, often checked. Often the shadow gives you away. But right now for Vitality, it's going to win them an eco, Harry. Like you say, that is despicable. That should not be happening. Alu's on a glass orb. Yampi can't afford his. And so it's back to rifles with limited, if any, utility here for ends. No kits either. Retake potential off the board. Off the cards. Nice shot for Alu. They try and chase him down this Yampi close in middle, but already they've rid him of the round. Yampi doesn't get checked. He trades, and now there's an orb drop behind him. If he can get out of here alive, he can get away with one, but he'd rather take it away from the enemies instead. Finding Zaiwu and traded by RPK. The bomb's on Cat, and Shocks will grab control back of it. Will they bail a B, or will they just commit with a play? This is a good call. Aerials on the long flank. They don't realize, but all that's going to do is give them an empty A site. Once again, this A-Site being a bit of a problem. Now, the rotations are thick and fast in through Catwalk. However, Shox is already on the angle. And now, with two sets of nades coming through, he knows Ooh, that most what? players are there, but the shot does connect. RPK, oh, the however, tank. the tank takes it into his own hands. And we'll find the seventh round on the board for Team Vitality. Things go from bad to worst here for Eds, because now their money has run out, Hugo. It's likely just going to be pistols for them in this round. Should be ends moving even further into the lead. Uh, the vitality moving even further into the lead, rather. <laughs> Words are hard, man. Especially names. Ents. They have set heavy in middle, right? Bit of a cat play for two, but three on the left side of mid. They're going to burst mid with this flashbang from Sunny. He's jump spotting. Now lining it up, ready to go. Waiting for Vitality to take some mid control first, and Apex finally does, but he takes a kill with it. Oh, through the door, Apex. Any more? RPK is going to try and assist from lower, doing some damage, and well, Chuck will steal the kill away. Apex with his third, and boy, oh boy, this flashbang found very little value for it. They get picked up one by one, and I don't know, they set up for like a mid crunch, but they just give Apex these individual fights, and I feel like Ents could have just, you know, after losing that first man up catwalk, they could have just tucked in, waited for Vitality to get close, and then just throw in the flash and, and burst, but I give 
the AWP a lot of room to move and Apex a lot of individual battles. It doesn't matter though, it's an eco. And now we come back in with double horse for Ents. This has been a bit of a shining star for them, but will it show up in this round? Camp is at least going to be available with it for a, uh, a speedy rotation over towards this B site. And that is where Team Vitality are kind of leaning towards right now. They've got Shocks up on Catwalk. And he's looking to keep the attention events at this A bomb site. And also maybe look to drop CT. Coming on a bit of a lurk. But I imagine they're just going to use him to cut off these rotations in mid. Yamp delivering one. But Apex and Masuda immediately open up with the kills needed. And already, if you're looking at this from the end side, this is a save, right? Yeah. You don't want to go for this three on four. And this is what I mentioned earlier as well. Sorry to cut you off. It's, it's, it's like, you know, Vitality, they've been just going for A every round. And we haven't even seen these fast B plays. Like, Ents haven't had any idea of, of what, you know, what trickery, what trouble that Vitality can present them with, with B. And anyone who knows us too knows how much of a problem this map is for CT defense. Like, Vitality, they just rush, they trade, they win the round. That's it. Two kills. And they can do that. They can just keep doing that, Harry. That's the issue. Like, Oh, that's too, man. It can be brutal at the best of times. Ants are running out of chances. This is weird. Not so easy after all. Bit of a rough score line, isn't it? 9-3. Not really showing any signs of stemming the bleeding here for Ents either. Ariel this time boosted fast onto Catwalk is going to open up and immediately, right, the decision is made. Okay, we take him one away, we run. We hide and we take this five on four. We're going to play passively back within these sites and really make Vitality work to get back into this round. If there's one thing Vitality are ready to do, it's work to get back into this round. A man down right now up on the catwalk with a long lurk and shocks. No util for him. He's all out of fight. Block smoke. Oh, no, that's going to cut Vitality off. They've just got to go through at this point. Screw it. Let's commit, they say, as the flash goes over the top. Alu gets blinded on the second time around, but not for long enough. He fires off, finds Mizuta anymore. For Alu, of course, he's got two. Won't be ready for Zaiwu being this deep. And so that's one frag the way of Vitality, but one is all they have in this round. That bomb still dropped, and they need to go back for it. Yampi won't let them. Shock's in middle. No long push has come through, and no kills have presented themselves. He's going to run up cap very loud about it. It. And well, he will meet a man on the other side. He shocks. Quick deletion of Yambi from this round, but the trade is there. And Ents are able to put four on the board. This CT side can be recovered after all. It's not over till it's over. And Ents know that, in fact. Some nice play shots from Alu's AWP. Maybe that can give them the, uh, the confidence they need to get back in control. able to open up this round again with the man advantage for Ents. It's him once more, striking an early man from the tally, and it's the same man, same situation, four on five again for Team Vitality. This time, though, a bit of a difference. They set up down here in the lower tunnels and start to migrate in towards B. Now, Masuta and Shox throwing in this utility, and this time Shox is going to attempt Ooh. a CT drop down. He gets in. It gets spotted by the player at B. That was Sergey getting that information. The rest of Team Vitality splitting in through middle, fast as they can get it. The flashes go in, and RPK opening oh, up with no. the double. Yampi and Sergey both get deleted. Shocks was still lurking down here in CT. Now him falling has given over a three on three, and ends there. They're definitely tempted now, right? If that kill hadn't come through, that just wouldn't have been the case over here in the tunnels, Ooh. immediately shut down by Masuta, and now it might be back to that save call once again. 
And uh, had, uh, sorry, Vitality had three mollies in this round in the post part. They just cycled molly after molly in the window. And right now, Enz can't even get back into the, the, the round, rather. Sunny tries to flank tunnels, but Vitality, they miss their flashback and they still just delete him from the round. Lovely stuff from Azuta and Co. It's going to be 10 for Vitality and one left of the half for Enz to really find anything here. 10 5 is not going to be feeling too pretty for Enz, but it's all they can do. And even then, it might not be attainable. Vitality, they're rocking the board. They've got the money. Look at these entries from RPK. Things are just lining up right now for them. Now, this is a confident Vitality that I would not want to be on the other end of. Double up down mid, taking those fights. Saiwu's going to rush long for his spawn, but Shox will be covering the cross. There's nothing seen, and smoke it as the usual. And the smoke on long. Zaiwu doesn't care about your utility. Apex tagged up on Cat again. Can't afford to go down early, but he'll run right out middle here. Trying to get some information, trying to uh, work out the setup maybe of Ents. And, well, he dies, but he at least knows that both Alu on Cat with the orb and a man in the middle remain. Once again, Vitality just leading back towards this B site. Now, Yampi aggressing into the tunnels. This could make or break this round. Oh, and no. with that shot missing, his timer expires. RPK drop on the entry. And now Zaiwu coming in with a cat lurk with the AWP. This is really not the most conventional position for Zaiwu to be in. But He's when does drop. this man ever do anything by the book? He's going to try and come in through CT. Oh, now, Ariel man. is keeping an eye on this very idea. And the shadow might have been seen oh, there, but no, Zaiwu down from the catwalk. Cat-like reflexes as well. He bounds in with another. Sergei rotating up through short side. Now, Lu is going to shut down Zaiwu. Two on three now for Ed to round out this first half of play. Trying to get in, but a shot from Shoxi followed up by... Welcome back to Vitality Ents. 11-4 of the first half, and Vitality, a map up in this series. They've got to be feeling pretty damn confident, if I can say so myself. Ents, on the other side of things, not feeling as safe and secure in this series. P250's coming through in this pistol round, and an Xbox smoke as well landing. Vitality going to flash into middle and try and cause a ruckus. Sharks. Flashed into short side, but ultimately it's Ooh, okay. winning this out. Narrowly, narrowly so, but they do. They're in a three on two and barreling up through catwalk now. Oh dear. Apex, there's the first. Oh, I don't know. They're all right now. It's Apex holding on, just clinging on for dear life. Sergey does deal with him. Is he going to be ready for Masuta? Fast up three wraps. It certainly looks like it, but the eight Ooh. punch. Oh, he does get a handle back on it. Guess that P2 under control. He hits the lottery ticket there, Harry. That was that was luck for Sergey. Obviously, he's aiming in the right place, but that aim punch has just RNG'd his bullets, and he still lands the headshot. Obviously, great work from Sergey, but relying a little bit on his good fortune, and that has kept Ents in this game. Without that pistol round, I think Vitality would have just steamrolled the series, but now Ents have a chance to show us what they've got on this T side, and maybe involving a bit of B play as well as they run right towards the tunnels. This is pretty standard, setting up for a pick. If Vitality give you a kill by uh, facing this tunnels, then Ents will rush. If they don't, then Ents won't rush. And well, Vitality have given them a kill. So here are Ents moving forward. They're actually not going to commit. Only two players here now. That third is dropped lower and setting up a mid to B. So it's going to be the B play for Ents, but they're doing it calculated, playing the percentages, Harry, as Vitality to deal with this. Mizuta, nice first shot, but he goes wide, and that's where the AK sits back and relaxes. It doesn't matter. Mizuta, if he didn't push there, he would have gotten shot from window anyway. So it's an Ents round by the looks of things, as Vitality likely just have to save these SMGs. Well, if Hens wanted to make this comeback happen, this is the start they needed. They get this conversion on the board. They keep the round nice and clean. Hens aren't over yet here on the Realms of Dust 2. It's a sixth round on the board. And with just these saved weapons brought forward for Vitality, it should be a seventh waiting right around the corner for Hens, or at least you would hope. But that said, we've seen Vitality get things done with these vanilla pistols over on the T side. And this time they've got even more than that. So I don't know if I'm ready 
to write this one off just yet. Yeah, I think assuming is a danger in a series like this. But, you know, Vitality really, really don't have a lot to play with here. And Enter are going to keep their rifles alive. So it would be a, a big mistake to let this one slip through your fingers if you're Ents. Flash on Zaiwu. We've got that mid play for Vitality. Three crossing towards B. They might just push up a dark. And I kind of like that idea, right? Clear it out early. It, you know, a huge bit of information. And even if it's not clear, you get gunfights. Ooh, nice shot. Man, Shoxy is warm today. Alu's watching lower and he doesn't realize they're pushing, but a missed shot has given him the warning he needs. He's just going to smoke it off and let them get control. Even shooting as a smoke blooms finds Mizuta. Is there the gun from the body of Yampi? I wonder. Shox has found it and he will run away with that weapon. Zaiwu on the site has to deal with a long take now and three with a bomb are in tow. Oh, Zaiwu with his eagle. Good for one. But that is it for him. Now up close to this smoke is this MP9. On the back of Apex. No flash to get him through, so he tries to run the gauntlet dry, and that's a decision he comes to regret. Sergei's really starting to come to life in this second half of play. Jox is going to get out the round with an AK at a bare minimum, but it is that seventh being found here for the end squad. They're not really keen on hunting sharks, right? They don't want to find themselves in this horrible situation where you've gotten off to a nice start and then Vitality get one round and then you're back to pistols. So they really do try and just solidify the money here. And now they'll do that by keeping three players alive. You have the option for the Orps to come out in full force here for the side of Ents moving into this first buy round. Now, Zai Wu, I saw that he was saving some extra cash in that force buy in the second round. So he's going to be looking to don his as well, and he will bring it out here. We get to see this head-to-head -head of Alu and Zaiwu continue. Ooh, diamond shot not connecting. Vitality get a safe double B cross for the man in the middle as well at Apex. Vitality giving it long, and luckily for them, Ents aren't interested. Ariel, we might just go straight through mid, but no, with the Xbox smoke climbing up the catwalk, and that's where RPK is right now. Apex has commed all this information. He's heard the jump up, so RPK should be very prepared for a player in this position. And flash forward, he tries to take a fight, but it's a headshot angle. Zaiwu nails it with the orb. Of course he does. Zaiwu with two, smoke down at his feet, and Vitality cordoned off Ents from that A bomb site, at least for now. There's a man out long, that's Sergey. That might tempt Ents to go towards A, but they've got mid control as well, so where will the penny fall here for the Finns? Oh, Vitality. They've decided to stack very heavily with a crossfire in mid. And this leaves Zaiwu, the lone gun, inside of this A site. He will have support available from Apex eventually. And actually, I, I like this decision. Right now, Masut has pushed the upper tunnels. He gets the information that it's clear. Apex is holding on to mid, and he actually starts to push forward himself. Now, is he getting a little oh, too deep wow. for his own good? He somehow finds a one-for-one one there. And I think that's great for Apex to have been able to accomplish that. That's enough in and of itself. Alu gets brought down very low at Catwalk. Nade could seal his fate. Alu versus Zaiwu in this little mini 1v1 at the A-bomb site. But Alu wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the rest before he tries to face the best. And shocks well, he will rear his head up. Deals with Alu on the Catwalk. 12 on the board for Vitality and a double orb. Was available, but not saved forward. Yeah, Shox there chose the AK over it, right? And that, that, you know, he's not even asking anyone. He doesn't care what Vitality think. He just wants to play with the AK. And at this point, I don't blame him. 12 7. Alu's back on the orb. Sunny's on a dig. And Ensign's money is about to be drip dry after this round if they don't get at least a bomb plant. But really, they're hoping for a victory here. Vitality getting their first in the CT side. So I was up on Catwalk. And aggressively so as well. He's not getting flashed out. He's just holding an off angle, waiting for these players to peer through. But Alu might have spotted him there on that jiggle. Oh, the missed shot. And Zaiwu gets a second chance in this round. He gets an extra life. He is going to be thankful for that one as he drops towards mid and tries to fight up on Cat from this side. It's a good idea. Alu waiting and Zaiwu nails the shot. Dear, oh dear. For Alu, he had one opportunity and with a miss, 
he will lose his life. Be pushed again, and Mizuta, man, the confidence, the risk involved with that kind of play with a man advantage, and he not only drops a bomb, but gets out safely as well, doesn't look to control it, as Vitality have all the advantages in this round. They can make Ents work for it. Yabby's gonna fall back off Catwalk as that smoke lands, and a safe decision for the man on the site not to overface, because his long flank is coming through, and it can confirm this round four. Vitality two for RPK. It doesn't really get much harder than this if you're Ents. So one on five for Yappy in his debut tournament for Ents. Let's get the first. Count him out of this one. Double cat flank, one on the site. It's Zai Wu, but that is the man of the hour here for Vitality. The man that is so hard to get past, Yampi. Gonna move into position. Apex has joined Zai Wu. And oh, even a jiggle just a centimeter too far could end his life. Flash is good, it forces the fight, and Apex will trade things, or not even trade, just get away with a kill. Vitality, 13 7. Things are looking pretty damn good for the Frenchman, if I say so myself. And three away from a 2 0 series today. I would, of course, put Vitality 2 0 up in this group. So definitely of uh, good value here considering their last game of the group would be Na'Vi. Of course, Vitality have already played Na'Vi, I forgot. <laughs> it's been a long day. They played them in the opening match where Na'Vi took that 2-1 victory, so this would at least be Vitality going 2-1 up, rather. Still a score to be proud of as is the one in this game. Full eco friends, they can't afford a thing. It's back to Glocks. Not expecting much from this round, Hugo, if I'm being honest. Would be pretty sick though. Kind of around for Ents to try and come up with solutions and try and test this uh, this setup for Vitality. Try and piece together exactly how they want to approach it in this follow-up round. In this one, going to come down to a cat play by the looks of things. And this is pretty common in these Glock rounds, right? Like B-Tunnel, it's a real funnel and a real choke point. So you do just get mowed down. Uh, cat, you have a bit more freedom of movement. You can try and isolate that one fight in the site. But even then, you know, I'm being very optimistic. Let's see if these Glocks can accomplish anything. Zai Wu is pretty happy about this. He's got a bit of a shooting gallery, but he does fall off from long. And that's the site given over. A bomb plant looking to come through, but it gets denied by Apex coming up the ramp. Him and RPK, they combine for four kills between them. And they also deny the plant to end. So even though they get up into the site, they have the chance. They don't actually get that bomb plant. Would have loved the extra money, but they don't get that now. And you see the difference it would have had. It would have allowed for an AWP to come out in this round here. Now that's not the case. So Ali relegated down to this AK. Still attempting to hit a player on the mid cross. <laughs> His old habits die hard. The kill distribution for Vitality is great, right? Like everyone's between like three, apart from Mizuta, who's just been really sitting back on B and relaxing. Well, right now he needs to have his wits about him, but he's actually on long this round with the AK. It's shock solo B and a man dead from lower early on. That's Apex. So a B play for ends. Shock's wanting to put a stop to it. How many will he get? He's given away his position and wasted some ammo here. He's not going to have many chances to reload with ends about to burst his bomb site. Are they waiting for a pick before they commit? Sonny's trying to fake up on A right now. Push back that cap play, but the grenade is great. And RPK drops off the back of it. Shox now needs to stop this stop, uh, stop this rush, rather. And Zai Wu is flashed out. Shox hiding. And they haven't seen him. They, don't, they think this fight's clear. And Shox finally going to get dealt with. Uh, uh, takes a peek. Ariel deals with him. The team flash from Zai Wu not really working in his favor. And that molly won't stop the plant either. It will push Sergei out. And oh no, that is despicable from Zai Wu. It's In not going to matter. Three on three, yeah, they're going to decide to save. So much time ticked off the bomb, and with the other two players so far away, Vitality, they decide it's not worth it, despite the even odds. They want to hold on to what they've got into this follow-up round. 
really playing the long game on this one, our Vitality. Because that's the thing, their money's fine anyway. Even if they attempted this, they'd be buying. But they're just focusing on trying to deny the comeback to Ents while looking to secure this victory smartly. Uh, and they know, right, that if they kind of gift Ents the ability to take charge of the money in this matchup, there's still a chance. So they do everything in their power to stop that. Round on the board for the Finns. We get to see the replay of that from Sergei's perspective. That is just despicable. That is despicable. That's yeah. not a kill that you should ever be finding. Ever. And not in the fashion that Zaiwu just did it. Well, we'll take it. Even though it has very little consequence for the match, it's certainly a flashy one. 14 8 up, though. Vitality just two away from this victory and a double B setup holding the tunnels. Look at ends. They are so grouped, man. Not even trying to push players off of the catwalk this time. Sunny, he's having a rough game, but he got naded last round on cat. He's going to go back to it, but there's no one here. So there's not really a lot that he can sell or he can fake. He can throw grenades, but, you know, Apex ain't moving anytime soon, buddy. Sunny's going to run right through the middle. Oh, he doesn't check it. And, well, he continues his streak of bad luck. Mizuta shutting down two. Apex with one. Shocks in the back of the site. Can't find a kill, but Apex certainly can. And now it's all down to Alu. Up against 14. Smoke in the door. He has the bomb, but he's trying to cross. And, well, that won't get allowed. Apex spams the door and finishes the round. It's 15 to Vitality. And this just feels like an inevitable victory for them. Ends only one round away from defeat in this series. Be the first loss of the group. They managed to take down Navi yesterday, which is shocking now that we look at this result. It, it, it bodes the question, you know, where are Navi right now, right? We're going to get a lot of answers later on with their game versus NIP. You know, the fact that they beat Vitality, they lose to Ends, but Vitality beat Ends. I mean, that, that you know, that food chain, that circle of life, it, it continues, Harry. Counter-Strike is never as clear as, oh, this team is better than that team, which is better than that team. You know, different styles can affect different teams. Vitality right now, they are well and truly in the lead. It all comes down to this, the, the five-man long play. The events can keep the party rolling here on Dust. Ariel's going to get run boosted round and he sees that the site is clear. But is it really clear? That's the question you have to ask. There's a man like Zywee floating around here and he's looking to put some numbers up. What? Somehow no ah. shot connects there. I don't know. Zywee feels like he got cheated out of a kill, but let's see if he can make up for it. The answer is no. However, RPK at Cat at least brings this back into a somewhat doable round now for Masuta. 1v2, but with Alu still now with this AWP in hand, set up at the, the crossroads to watch Masuta moving into the open. Tricky for Masuta. Molotov burns Sergei out and gives him that one-on-one, -on -one, but Alu's able to trade from the card. Nine on the board now for Ents. The long play works wonders. That's a really good decision for Alu as well, right? When he sees the fact that, you know, firstly, he knows where Mizuta is coming from, but Mizuta is throwing util on the site. Alu, instead of just sitting back in pit and waiting for the bomb and, and trying to play the tap, right? He forces the fight. He, he kills Mizuta before he gets comfortable because Mizuta just has to rush the site after that kill. And maybe there's a world where he has a smoke and he sticks to the bomb. So Alu denies any, world, uh, any chance of that happening, rather. And, well, it keeps Ents in this series, but only by the skin of their teeth. This buy again lacking. Double Galil and a MAC-10. Alu does have armor on his orb. And if anything, the Vitality money is starting to run dry as well. So if Ents get this 10th round, they can really start to rock, to, uh, rock together some T-side rounds and break Vitality's economy. He looks like it. Down into CT he goes, but they are holding for oh, it. They were meant to be split God. mid, but Masuda has just saved the day. Huh? Huh? How has what? this happened? This was a five on four. At ends, we're looking to get all set up. They were getting ready. They were feeling good. And now they really don't. Masuda with a double. However, in doing so, he rotated away and left his B site open right for the taking now. Ents moving on in. But a two on four. Still overwhelming odds stacked against them. And Zai Wu holding this cross. He's going to try and peek into it. The shot is baited out from Sunny, but Alu doesn't connect it. Suter with the tunnel spike should have this one dead to right. And in 